Hello everyone and greetings. I am Vaxo, your coach of the KTM B-Lades and this is my draft analysis for the Divine Battle League Season 2, also known as DBL. And I'm in the energy division, they have like three divisions or something. I did a trial battle and I was put in the energy division, so this is it. This is a national dex league which allows all the cut moves like hidden power and return and stuff. And also includes all the new moves that came with the DLC, so this should be fun. And yes, I joined yet another draft league because, as I said in my last Internet Fusion video, I don't think I'll be do posting any more Nuzlocke or LP videos in the coming months or so because I have school again, so you know, I'll just be posting draft league content because that's like what 20 30 minutes tops I have to do per week. So, I mean, I am in like three draft leagues, but anyway, I'm rambling on. So, this is my team. So, right off the bat, I think the tiering system in this was a bit weird. Like, so many mons were undervalued, which is good for me. <laughs> like, you can see here. So, just going around. I made some changes in the grace period, so, but I don't remember much. I think the draft was probably done like a week. Why a week? Or at least five or six days before from when I was recording this. So also, uh, when I'm recording this is like just hours before my birthday, so this video will probably be posted on my birthday, so do with that information what you will. My birthday is July 28th, so yeah, so just looking generally at my team, my team is Tabu Coco, Halucha, Greninja, not, not Protean by the way, Dragalge, Colossal, Audino, Excadrill, Will and Raichu, Tango, Driftblim, and Mega Beatrill. So, let's just go in order, right? So tier 1, Tapu Koko. I was like pick, I don't know, 7 or 8. But I mean, obviously I was horrible pick again, right in the middle. But Coco survived, I was like 8th or ninth pick. And no one drafted Coco, so obviously I took Coco. Round 1, because obviously you take Coco. He has close combat and player off now, so much better. And Rising Voltage, so... Both physical and special sets still very good. And then for some reason, Halucha was a tier below Coco because normally in whatever I've draft I've played, uh, Halucha and Coco are normally the same tier. But it's mostly because you know it's like tier 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. Coco is 1A and Halucha is 1B, but they both count as tier 1, so usually you have to spend points to get Halucha. I mean that that has been my experience before but in this I did not have to spend points so it was basically free so of course I took Halucha I mean that's what you do when you take Coco you take Halucha and then you take you know Holo and Raichu right here so that's what you do so that's three months down so Greninja it's you know it's torrent but it's still a freaking Greninja obviously it doesn't have stab on all of its moves but it's still Greninja it's fast it's strong it has spikes U-turn you know all the works and for tier 3, it's a freaking steal. I mean, S-D-E-A-L, not the typing. So, and my next tier 3 is Dragalge. So it gives me, you know, poison typing to absorb toxic spikes. It itself gets toxic spikes. It's also a dragon and very especially bulky, so it's my special wall on the team. And then after that tier 4, we have Colossal. So it gives me a fire type, gives me a rocker. It also gets spikes. It also gives me rapid spin, so I've basically got the hazards done, except like sticky webs, but I mean, just look at my team. I do not need webs. So I have two spikers, two toxic spikers, because yeah, Granja gets toxic spikes too. And then a rocker already. And for tier 5, I took Audino because, you know, you need normal types. I mean, with Pursuit, maybe I did not need, need a normal type, but I mean, it's bulky, it has regenerator, you know. It has Wish support. I don't think I've ever drafted Mon that is known for Wish, like I've used Espeon and stuff, but who's gonna use Wish Espeon? Or like Wish Glade, you know? Just because they have it doesn't mean they're good users of it. But you know, Audino can Wish Pass, like I said, Regenerator, gives me a check for Ghost types, so yeah. And in my free spot, I took Excadrill, because no one had taken T-Tar or Gigalith or Excadrill. I mean, one guy had Hippo, but he didn't take Ex Excadrill, and Excadrill doesn't need sand to be good, you know, he's a rocker, it does rapid spin, mold breaker is always amazing, 
You know, he's fast, he's strong. It's my girl Phoebe, so of course I took Excadrill. And then Raichu already talked about, and then Tangrowth. Now this is the mon that was seriously undervalued. I think it was almost at the same point or maybe lower than Among Us, which is weird for singles because Tangrowth is better than Among Us in singles. You know, in any in every way. Even not especially, but still it's be it's much better in singles. I mean in doubles, Tangrowth you know, it doesn't even come close to Among Us, but Among Us was like higher tier or like the same tier as Tango, then I took Tango, so it's my physical wall, you know. Regal is my special wall, and then Tango is physical wall, I mean Colossal is physical too, it's bulky, 120 defense, and then Arduino is the HP guy. And then I took Drifling because you need a ghost type, it gives me another defogger. Oh yeah, speaking of defog. I mean, I have two rapid spinners, and I mean, I guess I could use Coco. I probably don't need, I don't even need to use Coco offensively. I have Olucha, I have Lone Raichu, I have, you know, Excadrill, I have Mega B Drill. So, like, I can use, like, a defensive Coco and then use, uh, like, uh, Defog on it. It's fast, so I can just Defog on anything. Volt switch out, you turn out, you know, all the works. Keep my terrain working. And Drift Bloom also, you know, it has Unburden too, so, like, I can just, you know, spam on the speed. And stuff like that and I mean uh, in the dra leagues that I'm currently in I think I have Drift Bloom in all of them maybe a minus spoiler for a draft later on but you know whatever because I have Drift Bloom in KBL I think yeah I have Drift Bloom in KBL and I also have them in DBL so Drift Bloom is good unfortunately I can't do bat baton bash shenanigans in this league but you know it's still good it has strength sap you know I mean, without unburden does aftermath so like rock helmet aftermath Willow is Pex, Strength Zap, you know, it's a good mon. And obviously one half of the mascot of the team, you know, b Lade, that's, that's Mega Gallade plus Mega Beedrill Fusion, if you guys didn't know. So one half of the mascot, Mega Beedrill is available, I took it. Because why would I not, you know? So like just looking at the team, this is basically very hyper offensive, but I also have, you know, like good walls to support them. Obviously, like, screens would have been good, I think, but, you know, still, Tangrowth can sponge all the physical hits, Dragals can take all the special hits, and I mean, even Excadrill can be bulky, like Assault vs. Excadrill, it has 110 HP and good typing, defensive typing, so, that that can be a thing, and, you know, Drifloom, I, can, I don't need to run it offensive at all, because, like, you know, Coco is offensive, Holy Chill is offensive, Greninja is offensive, and then be drill like they can I can always run off them offensive. So I think overall this is probably the best or I don't know the best, but this is probably the strongest I've ever drafted. Since I started playing in like 2018. This is probably the best I've ever drafted. So I'm excited to use this. And let's see what happens in this. So this was like pretty short and pretty bootleg. Obviously like I just, you know, I just make things up as I go. I, I have to play with the mons to see how they are because just because a mon is good doesn't mean everyone can use it properly. Just because a mon is bad doesn't mean that a good player cannot use it effectively. You know, all that sort. Because I did have Lando once and, you know, Lando is supposed to be this god, but he didn't do much. No, I had him, okay, the first time he did, a, he did better because... You know, all, all the other players were not, not very experienced, but I mean, neither was I, but apparently I had more experience than them, and also my team was all busted. But the second time around when I had Lando, he didn't do much. So, I guess I still don't know how to play Lando properly, but you know, it's things like, it's things like that. Like, if I, if I cannot play properly, then even this hyper-offensive, like, god-tier team we can probably lose a lot of games. Because I did also have Kogo before in another league. And, you know, I, I, I won like just one game out of 12 in that league, I think. I I, used to, I had Coco and Alone Raichu, but I, 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 I even had Sceptile. Couldn't get Halucha, but I even had Sceptile and like, I still couldn't do well in that league. So uh, yeah, I'm rambling on, I'm just talking nonsense at this point. So anyway, this is my draft, this is my team right now, before all the changes, before week one, before the matches start. For the what was this DBL yeah DBL Battle League so let me know your guys thoughts on this draft and 
you know, once again, this will probably be posted on my birthday, so do with that what you will. And I'll see you guys next time with some more, well, probably more Draft League or Showdown content on the channel now. So take care and support the KTM Blades. Goodbye, my friends.